The city is relying heavily on statewide aid, but not in the form of materials. When people bring us commodities, they bring it to us. Somebody's got to sort it, somebody's got to store it, somebody's got to stack it. All that stuff has to happen. The city does not have the personnel or storage space for these mass amounts of supplies. And finding those resources is only causing more stress. Despite the devastation and loss in Taylorville, the city is not looking for food, water, or clothing. They're looking for something else. What people are most in need of after these disasters is money. With this money, the city hopes residents will be able to buy their own products safely from stores. The sheriff's office received a large monetary donation from a friend shortly after the tornado hit to help residents get back on their feet. Homeowners that are at home, and we know that they are, they're in desperate need, we're uh, giving out uh, gift cards. Red Cross and other volunteer groups are donating their time both physically and mentally as they help residents answer the question, what now? Taylorville is still cleaning up the debris from Saturday's storm, and many are left with homes declared uninhabitable. Probably the stage we're now is called the recovery stage, and that can go on for weeks or months. In the meantime, residents are searching for affordable places to stay, and those staying with family and friends know that they need to start thinking more long term. I think the big thing is, uh, you know, they're going to have to find uh, places to rent. Before residents of Taylorville start thinking about renting homes, they need money. The community continues to search for hope as they begin rebuilding their lives and their homes, donation by donation. In Champaign, this is Kira Kirsch, UI7 News.